Hi, I'm Michelle Mealy. Come and join me in the kitchen and we'll cook some food and sing some songs and have a wonderful time. Today we are going to make a meat tomato sauce for pasta. Last time we made a fresh tomato sauce out of fresh tomatoes and this time we are using canned tomatoes. Actually it's not canned, it's kind of bottled slash jarred tomatoes. And we have onions, garlic, meat, tomatoes, salt and pepper, olive oil and of course wine. So we'll start putting our olive oil in the pot. Just a bloop. And then we're going to cut up some onion. I wanted to say, everyone's mother, if you're of Italian persuasion, makes the best sauce. So I don't want to change anyone's mother's recipe. And every region you're from, you'd put different things in the sauce. We like to keep ours simple. So I use onion. Oh, I love that sound. I, in my one woman show, Naked on the Rocks, I wanted to have that on stage. A big pot of sauce cooking. I thought that would be really funny. <laughs> and then serve it to everyone at intermission or something. But somehow logistics, it didn't work out. Then we have to put garlic in. I took a course and the first chef said, oh, we must slice the garlic beautifully and chop it both ways and never crush it. The next day, another chef came in and he said, okay, now, without even, and he smashed the garlic like that. And I said, oh, I thought we weren't supposed to. And he was like, ah, no big deal. You can do it like this, the way my mother always did it, because we were always in a big hurry, because there were always at least four children, and all our friends and relatives, and so she just cut it up like that in her fingers, and which is the worst thing if you play the piano. <laughs> you have to be extra careful. I'm not going to be accountable for too much fun. So we're stirring the onions and the garlic. I put the onions in first and then the garlic because I don't want it, the garlic burns easier than onion. Salt, pepper, then some oregano depending on how much you make. Usually I make it for 20 people every Sunday but today this is just going to be for maybe five to ten. Then you can use chili powder or a jalapeno. Since this is very hot and molto picante, we're just going to put a little piece in. And then once this is softened, then we add the meat. We're going to put pork sausage, hot sausage, and pork ribs because I think it's very important to have bone when you're making soup or sauce because that adds a lot to the flavor. The meat has to brown thoroughly. That's what my grandmother always taught me and it makes a big difference in the flavor. Not all that complicated. It's something as old as time like my transparency. And now that the meat has browned, we're going to add some wine. Yay! You should always use white wine. Well, no, you could do whatever you like. But if you um, use white wine, the sauce won't get as dark. I think it's more appealing just to have a, 
a lighter sauce. Then once that sets in and the meat is, is absorbing the wine flavor, we add our tomatoes. I figure four to five people per jar. And now that's all, we're done. So we bring it to a boil and then we're going to cover it and let it simmer. And it has to cook for at least two hours. Definitely. And then nothing, there's nothing all the knowing can do. I see you all the time when I'm dreaming. I want to dream with you all the time. I feel you silly times when I'm laughing. I hear you laugh at my silly rhymes. I'm with you, especially when you go crazy. I'm crazy. And so we went and we tried the trapeze, and my husband and I both loved it and our kids loved it. And our oldest daughter is now a professional um, flying trapeze artist. I don't have white wine in the fridge, but I have pink champagne from the other day. And it matches my lipstick.